All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are gonna be showcasing the new Fizz LR Master Roshi at Rainbow Status, but prior to his eventual Extreme Z Awakening in part three of the anniversary. Now, recently I have been getting a lot of questions from people asking me if this guy is even usable or worth running without his EZA. So of course, in this video, we are gonna find out the answer to that question. Now, before we jump into the actual gameplay, I do wanna quickly go over his details. So if you guys already know what he does, then feel free to, you know, skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute and we'll get into the showcase. So starting with his leader skill, it is Turtle School Category Key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 80%. And then for his super attacks, the 12 key super massively raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. And then the 18 key super will raise attack by 628% for one turn and cause mega colossal damage. And then his passive is attack plus, or sorry, defense plus 100% and medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, which is a 30% dodge chance. And then Turtle School Category Allies, key plus 2, attack and defense, plus 30%. And if HP is 50% or less at the start of character's attacking turn, and there are another 2 or more Turtle School Category Allies on the team, revives with 50% HP recovered when the character or an ally attacking in the same turn is KO'd once only. And he also has an active skill, which can be activated after the character receives attack seven or more times in battle. And there is another Turtle Skull category ally attacking at the same turn, and it massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy and all allies keep plus seven for one turn. And finally, his links are Turtle Skull, Kamehameha, Supreme Warrior, Brainiacs, Tournament of Power, Shattering the Limit, and legendary power. So there you go, that is everything you need to know about the Fizz LR Master Roshi prior to his eventual Extreme Z Awakening, like I said, in part three. And now we're gonna jump into the new U7 stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. And uh, let's see here, if I link him up with the Piccolo and Gohan, he's starting off with 145,400 and 93 defense, which is really, really good. And uh, let me see what I can do here in terms of the super. Uh, let's just give one orb to Gohan and Piccolo, and that's gonna be a nice 18 key super for Roshi. And then we'll give uh, these to UI. So here we go, first attack, turn one for Fizz LR Master Roshi. Now keep in mind, of course, he does get quite a bit better after his EZA, so this is Definitely not his full potential by any means. Okay, so two supers from Gohan and Piccolo, that's cool. Just please don't kill Krillin. Don't do it, thank you. Okay, so Roshi is gonna do... Not bad. Okay, so close to four million attack. On turn one, additional attack, and Krillin's dead. So that was pretty good, guys. That was, that was pretty good. For a free-to-play LR who's gonna get Extreme Z Awakening to do close to 4 mil on turn 1, I think is, uh... Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Now, of course, I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video are either wondering, like, should I spend the time to, like, farm this guy out because I still need, like, a lot of dupes. I still need a lot of medals. Uh, the answer for that question is absolutely, yes, 100% farm out this Master Roshi. He is way too good for you to not have in your box. And he's also, I mean, compared to other free-to-play LRs, he's not that hard to get, right? If you compare him to like a prime battle LR where you need 777 medals, um, you know, this is much easier to get done. You just need the, I think, 30 TUR medals and then the 50 LR medals. And the dupes aren't that hard to get either. And honestly, compared to a Prime Battle LR, at least the EZA ones we have right now, like the First Form Frieza and the Super Saiyan Goku. I think after his Extreme Z Awakening, he's actually better than, I would say, both of the Prime Battle EZAs at the moment. Am I forgetting one? 
We had three Prime Battle EZAs. I think it's only two right now, right? I think it's only two. My brain's kind of weird today, but either way, I think he becomes the best free-to-play unit in the game, guys, after his EZA. So, so whatever you see right now, he, he gets that much better with the Extreme Z Awakening. Definitely worth the time, definitely worth the effort. So, so just do it, guys. Just do it. I mean, what else are you going to be doing in the game anyways right now? Right? Okay, so we got a dodge. Doesn't look like we're going to dodge a super, though. Yeah. Yo, this guy actually sealed us. Are you kidding me? Dude, like, can't you tell we're trying to do a showcase here? Why'd you got it? That's not cool, man. That's really not cool. Like, if it was under any normal circumstance, if I was just like, you know, playing by myself or we're streaming or something, then yeah, go ahead, seal me. It doesn't matter. But I get this rotation where I have two supports, where I get an 18 key super, and this guy has to ruin my showcase and seal me. Come on, man. Anyways, um, that turn, I would say our attack stat probably would have been around 4.2, 4.3, something like that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but we do have two supports, right? The first turn, we had one support, and we got close to four. So it would have been easily over four mil. But we won't know for sure now, because obviously, Roshi's a douche. So <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, now, let's see. This time around, I'm still gonna let... I'm still gonna let Goku and... Or sorry, Gohan and Piccolo attack first, just because I want to get the uh, Legendary Power Link. And then we can still get a nice... Yeah, 18k super right there. It's not gonna be as nice of an attack stat as the last turn, but... Um, you know, once again, it should be close to 4 million. Oh my god. Oh no. That was unfortunate. <laughs> well, um, I thought there was only one attack, so it probably wasn't going to be a super. But of course, it has to be a super, right? Of course. Of course. I should have known. So we took a lot of damage there. Uh, on the bright side, if we take a little bit more damage, then we could potentially get a revival skill in this video, which is very rare. Very, very rare. Um... So yeah, maybe I want to take a little bit more damage. Yeah, next turn we're not going to item. Uh, we're going to... Let's see. I mean, I guess I'll put Vegeta there, but even Vegeta's not going to take that much damage. Obviously, I'm not going to put Goku there because he's probably going to dodge the attack. Um, actually, you know what? <laughs> we're probably going to kill Piccolo right now. So I don't think it even matters. But we'll try our best to get this revival skill going at some point. Uh, one thing I like about Roshi's revi re Revival, I don't know why that word is so hard for me to say, why his Revival skill um, is great is that you don't need to, you know, take a certain number of hits or anything like that. All you need is to be below 50% and then have those two Turtle School category allies, which we do because we have, you know, the UI Gokus, right, who are all in Turtle School. So um, as long as we fall below 50% HP, we'll be able to get that Revival skill activated with no issues so uh yeah we're gonna try our best um if i have to item just to stay alive obviously i'll pop the item but otherwise uh, i'm not too concerned about this team because obviously we got some pretty great tanks and also some just like insane dodgers right that ui gokus especially so um yeah we'll see how this goes we'll see how this goes okay so these guys are getting supered again shouldn't be as bad as last time there we go, 46k, and we're still slightly above 50% HP. Now Roshi's, once again, close to 4 mil. Can we get him to 4 mil? Ooh, look at that additional. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so if you're wondering why the additional super does so much damage too, it's because I believe um, we're still getting... Wait, hold on. I'm not 100% sure how the... Like calculation works but when you get an additional super always find that you do more damage versus just doing a regular 12 key super so we must still be getting the attack buff from the 18 key super right let me see uh let's 
just gonna quickly read this again. Yeah, so it raises attack by 628% for one turn, so... Yeah, we must still be getting the attack buff for the 12 key. Because if you just do the regular 12 key, like without the additional, he's barely doing any damage. Like, I'm pretty sure you're getting like 1.5 to 2 million at most. But uh, if you, you know, get the additional, like I said, it becomes much more damage. So I think that's how it works. I'm not like a expert in this stuff. You know, you gotta ask one of those brilliant people, those mathematicians on uh, the Dokkan subreddit who do this for a living, but, well not for a living, but you know, they, they do this, right? So uh, yeah, I can't confirm, but either way, with the additional, he's doing a lot of damage, man. We got like close to 4 million for the 18 key, and then the additional is doing close to 3 million. So that turn, we had almost like 7 million in uh, attack stat, right? And then if you were on a stage like a Super Bad Road event, where you could actually stun the enemy, then you also had the high chance to stun. So for that reason, I feel like additional for Roshi actually might make more sense than crit. Now for my Roshi, I did build him with more crit than additional, but right now I'm kind of potentially, I might reconsider, man. I'm not really sure. I might reconsider. Now I'm going to pop the Icarus because I'm a little bit worried about these guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I would like to not do that just because, like, obviously I want as much uh, as much damage as possible. Like, to take as much damage as possible, but I also don't want to die. So it's kind of like a fine balance. So we're going to use that Icarus. Hopefully take a super and still take a good amount of damage. And, uh, you know, come back next turn. Take a super, die, get the revival skill. And uh, also we got to get that the active skill too actually all right so we still aren't over four mil additional super though no additional there okay okay question have we have we had a single dodge in this video yet because this guy does have a 30 percent chance to dodge you know like it's not a high but it's still there we still have that chance so like can we can we see it can i get that please that'd be nice um, let's see. Oh man, yo, this this rotation is not gonna be taking damage either. Like I could put Vegeta there; he potentially would take more damage for a super, but it's still not gonna be a ton. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to like get 18 key supers with these guys just because uh, we don't want to kill Gohan this turn. This seems like a first world problem. <laughs> you know how like. I'm sure most people doing this event are like, yo, how do I kill these guys as quickly as possible? And I'm like, I want to keep these guys alive and I want to take as much damage as I possibly can to get the revival skill. And it's actually a struggle because like these guys hit too hard and they, you, you know, tank too well or take uh, no damage because they dodge, you know? So like, okay, I'm going to stop. I, I feel like I'm going to piss some people off by saying this, right? Like people are like, oh, you're trying to flex on us. I'm not. I'm really just trying to make sure that you guys get to see as much of this Roshi as possible. And it's not exactly working out here. Uh, can we get the active skill? Ooh, still no active skill. Okay, um... Hmm, let me see. Well, I mean... This turn's kind of tricky, too, because we definitely don't want to have these guys take any hits before they super. Um, if they get supered though by SSBE, he's probably gonna kill us. But I'm gonna take the risk. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna risk it a little bit. So I'll give just one orb to him. We're gonna give a nice 24 key super to Roshi, and then uh, I'll give them these orbs. We can heal up a little bit. Um, SSBE, I know it hits pretty hard though. If he supers Gohan and Frieza. That might be the end of our showcase, guys. <laughs> which would suck, because we are pretty close to the end. I'm pretty sure there's only one more phase after this, which would be uh, Goku and Frieza, right? So, hopefully that doesn't happen. But sometimes, you know, things don't always go the way you want them to, and I have a feeling this might be one of those days, man. This might be one of those days. Okay, so no super there. Finally, Roshi over 4 million. 4.1 mil attacks that. Very nice. Additional super. No additional. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. 
I think that might be... Okay. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh! Oh! Okay, hold on. <laughs> it appears I severely, severely underestimated these guys. I know they had the guard. Look, I, I, I knew the guard. There was a great chance the guard. Obviously not guaranteed, but a great chance. So like 70%. So I knew they were most likely going to get the guard. But even with the guard, I didn't expect them to take that little damage. I thought it was going to be like 300k or something like that. So... Okay, my bad, my bad. Yo, Go Goku and Frieza. I keep calling Goku, Gohan. I keep calling Gohan Goku. Gohan and and Frieza. I I disrespected you guys, man. That's my mistake. That's my mistake. I will never doubt you again. Never doubt you again. Okay, so of course right now we have the uh, Master Roshi <laughs> uh, active skill, but we can't use it here. We actually can't use it here because um, Goku. Or sorry, the uh, 17 has the, you know, absorption of like key-based attacks, so it's not gonna work. But uh, we'll save it. We'll save it for next turn. Let's um, just get everybody nice supers. There we go. Hopefully a dodge. No. Okay, that's that's cool. I don't I don't want you to dodge anyways, man. It's it's, it's okay. We don't we don't need your dodge. You know, like we actually want to take damage, so this works out. This is exactly what I wanted. By the way, uh, notice <laughs> the UI Goku has some crazy attack right now. And it's because of the support from the LR Master Roshi, right? Because these guys are both Turtle School um, units. So, yeah, not only is he just like great by himself, he also provides the support for your uh, UI Gokus and make them even more monstrous than they were already. So that's also another reason to run him on your team because he's actually like a really solid support. Of course, he's not going to be supporting the entire team if you're using U7, but you know, two or three of your best units will be getting that nice support. And the support becomes even better, I believe. If I remember correctly, he gives key plus three attack and defense plus 40% after his uh, extreme C awakening. So he's just an awesome unit, man. And like, look, if he didn't get an easy A, if he was just like this good forever, right, without an Extreme Z Awakening, he would still be, you know, <laughs> one of the best free-to-play units in the game right now, like easily, right? So, um, yeah, man, I mean, to answer the question from the beginning of the video, right, from the start, when I was like, you know, people asking me, should they run him? Is he worth running? 1,000% yes. 1,000% yes. All right, let me pop this active skill. Let's uh, enjoy this dope animation. I don't think a revival skill is happening, guys. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna get that revival skill. It's unfortunate, but at least we have this. At least we get to enjoy this. And this is, it's just awesome, man. I love that. Not a lot of damage, unfortunately, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, let me pop the active skill for Goku too. Even though he's not going to do much damage if we don't crit, it's still a great animation just to watch. And we're getting to the end of this video anyways. I'm pretty sure we're going to finish things off in the next uh, rotation. So let's get as many animations in here as we possibly can before that. And if we do crit, oh, there we go. Okay, some good damage. Some good damage with the crit. Okay, so I'm going to give these to... Him, and that's gonna be a 24 key super for Roshi. Beautiful. And then we'll just give a couple orbs to Goku. So Piccolo and Gohan. At this point, when they super, they get a lot of defense. So I'm really not gonna be worried about their tanking here. There we go. Nine damage. 35, 25. It's gonna be interesting to see how much a super would do. Or maybe how well Roshi can tank a super. I kind of actually want to see that. Okay, so go ahead and, and, and super me. There we go. Thank you. Let's see what happens. Of course he didn't dodge it. I knew he wasn't going to dodge it. But let's see what uh, what kind of tanking he can do here. Uh, 
Well, <laughs> that, uh, that, um, it could have been better. It could have been better. It could have been worse, though. So, <laughs> I'm not going to hold that against him. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to hold that against him, but was was kind of rough. That was kind of rough. Now, I haven't given SSB a Batita a lot of shine today, so we're going to let him finish things off, let him, you know, get that, that final, um, what do they call it in Dokkan? The, not kill shot, the final, final blow, final blow. Yeah, we're going to let him get the final blow. Sounds kind of weird, but there, oh, phone's dying. That's okay, though. Video's almost over. Let me just grab my charger here. And there you have it, guys. We also got that dope uh, KO screen from Vegeta, which is one of my favorites. So it all worked out, guys. Oh my God, dude! Don't do this to me. Yo, Cord, don't, don't, don't do this to me, man. We're we're almost done. We're almost out of here. Just let me finish this. Thank you. Okay, so there we go, and there you have it, guys. LR Fizz Master Roshi. I mean, you can be the judge of like how good he is, but I absolutely love this unit. And you know, the craziest thing is like, he, he, can still, he still gets better. He still gets an Extreme Z Awakening in part three. So look forward to that. But before that, get your Roshis done, get him to Super Attack 20 for free. All you gotta do is get the second Roshi, right at Super Attack 10, level him up and uh, you know, awaken him to LR status and then feed him in and then you get the free SA20. So uh, there you go guys. And not even Max Links either. He could be a little bit more powerful with Max Links of course, but I haven't had a chance to do that. But either way, I've been impressed with uh, what I've seen so far. So yeah, look forward to the UZA in part three. Of course the showcase for that is on the way, but for now, that's it guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.